Hey, handsome. Hi. Hello. <laughs> We got a new buck. We actually had a neighbor stop by a little while ago and Maya talked with her for a while. Just She stopped to chat because she saw our garden and our animals and stuff and she keeps La Mancha's right down the road from us which is really cool because I haven't found just a lot of people keeping La Mancha's in our state. They're not one of the more popular goats. You can get Nigerian dwarves and Nubians way easier. And she had a couple of bucks this year that she didn't have plans for because they were related to her girls and basically uh, we are trading if we end up with a buck. Hey! Hey handsome. <laughs> we are uh, trading her for him and if we don't end up with a buck we're going to trade her with basically breeding services from uh, one of our other bucks. So pretty cool. He's a handsome little guy. He's only four months old so I guess I shouldn't say little guy. He's pretty big actually. We've got him in here. She has a really beautiful um, herd and you can tell by looking at him. Very 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 beautiful, healthy animal, but we're gonna keep him in there um, so he can become acquainted with our other bucks and so nobody gets hurt in the establishing of all of that. We got a lot done in the garden today. It's looking good. Oh, look. This zinnia's about to open up. That's gonna be pretty. Oh. You'll notice my table is gone. Months ago, our friend Rachel made us this beautiful mosaic glass tabletop for our garden pavilion. It's so gorgeous. And uh, we've had it in storage for safekeeping and we've got to build some legs for it. And we decided to go ahead and get this space moved off and ready for that. Um, I don't know at what point that's gonna happen, but the table that was down here we moved onto our back porch to use as like our dining area while we're redoing our kitchen if it will be like super soon because we do have to gut the kitchen out but it will be soon comparatively considering it hasn't been done so at some point over the next few weeks that plan it's not going to take that long to build it's just that we have so many other pressing things before and i cannot wait hey ma'am <laughs> my sweet girl she just came up and looked, giving me some lovings, and here's Nestle. Goat relationships are the sweetest things ever. They're so affectionate to each other. Hey, Ness. Hey, baby. Hey, Anna. Well, oh, Miriam's got to get some lovings too, right, girly? Yep. It's almost time for you ladies to meet your boyfriends. Yeah, they expect yeah, to be you. snuggled <laughs> in the presence Literally, of people. Yes, I'm like resting her face. They can tell goat well, people. Now Ashley's like, oh, okay, so you're oh. giving out rubs. <laughs> it's the next day. I'm sitting on the front porch with Bear, waiting for Maya to be done in the back because we've got something to do that's kind of exciting. What the heck? Don't the storm clouds know I'm trying to shoot a video? Doesn't the storm clouds know we're trying to work outside? <laughs> It'll rain just enough to make it muddy. It's gonna feel like a, a sauna out here. <laughs> you don't want to come out in the rain? You're such a stinker. Do you want to go back inside? All right. It's not gonna last that long. You can literally see the blue skies coming in. This is just a little cloud. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> oh my God, it's waiting. What? The boys are out there trying to run the tools in. Well, it's a good thing I sprayed all those squash plants. <laughs> Hope with the powdery mildew. Got mother fruit leather. <laughs> yeah. Only one now. You all just got soaked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Malia is actually stuck out in the pavilion right now. <laughs> She's probably just going to stay out there till it stops. It won't rain this hard for long. My irrigation is actually running right now <laughs> because it was supposed to rain earlier and then it didn't. So I looked at the um, I looked at the forecast and it looked like it wasn't going to rain at all. So I just went ahead and turned the irrigation on because everything needed water. So right now, while it is pouring, the irrigation is on <laughs> currently. <laughs> Toby's running down to the pavilion with Malia. 
Holy, that's a lot of water. My lens is fogging up. The more moisture there is in the air, the more you can feel it and you sweat more. I told them, I was like, just be ready because I could see it all over there. Yeah, me too. It, it seriously dark. feels like you could just swim in the air out here. Just take a big deep breath and drink it in. All right, let's do this thing. Cool, what do you guys think? It's so humid out here, it's like a haze. So this is a cool thing. We're gonna move it into the garden and tell you a little about it. <laughs> Probably gonna have to pick it up and put it over the fence. Yeah, but once we get it in there, it'll be okay. We could have, of course, assembled it, assembled it in the fence, but now we're gonna just go over. Dang, I let it go. I set it down. So I'm curious how much rain just fell in that. It was about six minutes. Half an inch of rain in six minutes. It was a lot all at once. I think there might be a second wave coming. You can kind of just feel it. I've been having some audio issues the last couple of videos you may have noticed in the beginning of this video. Um, I just switched my mic because I edited the video and realized a lot of the footage I had was not usable. So hopefully it'll be fixed. It's not my camera. Hopefully it's just that mic. We're gonna pull, push this and go all the way back. Look at the bees bearding over there, Maya. See how they hang down like that? That's whenever the hive is too hot. That's how they cool it off. How long ago was that? A couple months ago, we did a video about the omelet automatic, coop, automatic door. coop doors that we were using. And uh, the company really uh, appreciated all the traffic that you guys sent their way. And they actually sent us this little rabbit hutch. They, they make chicken coops as well. Uh, really geared more towards people who have like, you know, a small number of backyard hens. First time we ever saw omelet was at the HOA the first year we ever went. Yeah. They had, they were all set up and we were like, we were like, man, we really like this, but we have six. No use for it, yeah. It just was never really going to support our size of operation. And so we just never really pursued it, even though we thought it was cool. Yeah, and with the fact that Maya builds most of our stuff, uh, and we are on a larger scale, we were like, oh, that's really cute, but we have no use for it. However, whenever they contacted us, we saw that they had this rabbit hutch, and we thought that would be really cool to keep our pet rabbit, Newt, out in the garden. Now, we've had Newt for a little while now. You guys may remember we actually picked him up from a friend that needed to rehome him for her son, and the kids have just kept him in their room. He's just been a pet. But uh, we've wanted to put him down here, give him a larger space and keep him down in the garden for a while now. We just haven't had time to prioritize that on our list. So Maya just put this together. Ever, most of the stuff that we're gonna show actually comes with just the hutch and it comes with, I think, I think the original run is like this big and then you can get an extension. We decided to go ahead and get an extension just so he had more space to move around and maybe we'll add a friend at some point so he's not alone. This shade cover comes with it. Um, it actually comes with a food bowl, a hay rack, and then a water bottle. What do you think of that, Benny? That's the hay rack. All right, so how do you open the back? Um, so actually I need to take it off the wheels. So okay. you can buy these wheels separate, which helps it move and then you just, unlock them and then it sits on the ground. Now the back is kind of cool, it just has this little latch. You twist it, back comes off, and that should be, that's where the hay rack goes. So we're gonna take that. Oh, does the water go in there too? Yep, and we're gonna sit that there, and then we need to fill that up with water. So let's take it to the greenhouse and fill it up. Now, another reason why I thought this would be cool is because this comes out and we can literally direct fertilize stuff. Oh yeah. With everything that he poops on this. Yeah. That's cool. Hey, Newt. We got three greenhouses. <laughs> Newt, you're no moving on up, man. I'm gonna put him in down there or down there. I can't ever say that I've wanted to put a rabbit in my garden, but I guess there's a first time for everything. You got some hay. Can I stick it in there? Yeah, you stick it right here, see? Perfect. Now he's got hay. He eats it? Yeah, he chews on it. 
Oh, I think Newt needs a friend. Yes, he does. He no one there, like Bear. Are you hey, Newt's Toby, friend? <laughs> can you go to the back porch and grab that bag of rabbit food? Bear's very them? sweet to Newt. They so. they are friends. I'm talking about. You know what I think we should get for Newt? Pull one of these dudes out of here. Grab it by the by the soil and pull up. Grab by, grab it by the soil. Find find where it hits the soil and pull up. Got it? Wipe okay. that dirt off. You got it? Yeah. It's a carrot. You wanna go give him one? Pull the stick out. And that's how you open the door. Yeah, right. but I, I bet it's good. Now set the carrot in there. You didn't see it. He'll come back to it. You can go in there. Sit crisscross applesauce, okay? Your butt. Boy in a cage. <laughs> Look, we got a rabbit, Ezra. It's a lot of change at once for him, so it's okay. He, well, he was chewing on that grass. I think the hutch itself is really well designed and pretty cool. Um, like everything feels pretty sturdy. The yeah. doors lock easy and unlock easy. Um, so I, am I stuck in here? No, you don't have to be. You can get it. So Newt is a mini Rex rabbit. Um, he's got the little curly whiskers. He's v very pretty. We're gonna go ahead and put a water outside for him as well. Because it is warm here, he'll have water inside and outside. You know, Maya is super handy. He can build anything. And that is really a nice skill to have when you're homesteading. But a lot of our viewers live in the city. A lot of them do not own tools or have carpentry skills. So sometimes whenever, oh, it's time to go back inside. Uh, a lot of times whenever we come across things that are easier to put together, um, that don't require tools or carpentry skills, we're glad to share those because it can be a very helpful resource. And we get a lot of people who say, uh, express their appreciation for that. I left these down here during that rainstorm, so I just want to pick them up really quick. Some of these Cosmo seeds fell out. Maybe I'll just throw them in the garden. Oh look, a little tag along. You see, there was there was two of them in here. Look. Oh, he jumped. Ben, look. You want to take him and put him in the garden bed? Be gentle, please. You're slippery. Bear, don't you bite that frog. <laughs> okay. Slip, slip. Okay. Like what? Just put him in one of the garden beds. We like frogs. They're our friends. They eat the bugs. We talked about it last night, and we decided on our name for our new La Mancha Buck. Now we have our other La Mancha buck, his name is Ross Poldark, and so we decided this new buck, since he's blonde and he's going to be Ross's best friend, um, his name is going to be Dr. Ennis. We like some pop culture references, but like we get really into some BBC shows. Jeremiah really got into Poldark. I got mad at Poldark. I was always just like, come on Ross. <laughs> Demelza and Verity are two of the female names from that show. And if I get any La Mancha does this year, my first two La Mancha does are gonna be Demelza and Verity. Um, Cause I really like those names and they're kind of going with that theme. I think that storm must have been moving in the other direction cause I heard thunder there for a second and then it just kind of went off in the distance. I can't hear it anymore. Such a weird time of year, you just get these random rain showers. Thankfully though, with the second wave of the storm coming by, the temperature dropped down again and that humidity is not so killer. It's wild sometimes. It'll be 90 degrees outside and then we'll get one of those really hard rainstorms where sometimes we'll get up to two inches of rain in less than half an hour. And then you come outside and it's just 100% humidity and the sun shining. It's one of the reasons why we deal with a lot of like bacterial growth and stuff like that in the garden and while you deal with blight because those are just prime circumstances for that stuff to grow when your foliage all gets wet um, and then hot not good oh never mind I hear the rain again will you carry yeah ready yep let's go thank you guys for hanging out with us today we bless you until next time <laughs>